Many millionaires and billionaires have their own unique, rags to riches, story, and most of them started out when they were incredibly young. I am sure you have heard many of them started their newspaper delivery route as young as a 10 year old. Do you know that? Sheldon Adelson, the casino magnate, Walt Disney, the animator and entrepreneur, Warren Buffett, the CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, Kathy Ireland, the model and business mogul, and even Tom Cruise all had their newspaper owned delivery route when they were young. A newspaper boy is a businessman. He sells a product, he provides a service, and makes a profit. Where does he get his product? What service does he provide for his customers? And how does he make a profit? Hey, do you got any stuff for me today? Yes, I do. Anything? Okay, Foz, we want to start collections tonight on the weekend, so let's get the routes delivered and get home and have supper. I'll start collecting. And be sure and get tomorrow morning. No basketball or football tomorrow. Let's get on collections. Clean them up this weekend and you can have your rest of the week free. I'm collecting for you, look. Hi. Lisa, Lisa, bring my purse. By the way, we're going on vacation this Friday. Oh. When do you like me to sell your paper again? In two weeks. Thank you. Thank you. Did you see? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Hi, Dimitri. Hi, Sheriff. May I for the paper? Yep, you bet. Oh, I'm sure to change that. Honey, have you got any change? Dimitri, I'm sure to change. Would you come back tomorrow? Oh, sure. Okay, I'll see you. Thank you. We have new neighbors next door. Have you tried them for a subscription? No, but I'll go check over there right quick. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, you missed a paper last week. Well, I don't want you to uh, to miss a paper. Well, next time, would you call me? Okay, I'll do that. All right, thanks. You're welcome. Uh, oh, that's nice. Did you get it all this month? No, I, didn't, I was ne kind of neglecting my collecting. I don't know. I just didn't get it all in. Oh, you're going to miss your bonus tomorrow? And I hope not. I'm, trying, I'm going to try to get it in. Well, fine. Get out there with a lot of hustle at night. You just might make it. Yeah, I'm okay. going to try. What else did you have? Uh, let's see. There's... Some people I was thinking about, they, I'm not sure if they're going to be home or not. They might have to um, oh, bill them because I, I uh, saw them once. You might call them ahead of time, see if they're home for collecting. Yeah, so I was uh, going to try We'll get home and eat supper real early and then you can get out there right away. Okay. Okay. Don't be disappointed about it. I know you'll make it. All right. You can get your new baseball mitt. All righty. And Dimitri. You sure right about... Deliver me the papers on the porch, Hank. Well, good. You followed my advice. Sure. Did you have a smile on your face this month? Oh, sure. Well, it pays big dividends, doesn't it? You get many tips this month? Yeah. Well, that's great. Better than the last month. Oh. What'd you get about? Uh, well, some some people gave me 75, some yeah, 25. Well, yeah, yeah. That good service pays off. What are you going to do with your earnings this month? Are you still being a tightwad and saving your money? Or are you going to buy that new bike this month? Okay, oh, fine. Thanks, Any uh, renewals or Oh, no. Okay. How about a trip this weekend to Circle K Ranch? Okay, four new starts. Four new starts. Just take a lot of hustle and get out there and try for them. You'll never get anywhere standing there. <laughs> take you half an hour of your time to write four new starts. Before we move on, please remember to subscribe and leave me a comment that you have subscribed. Tell me what you think about my videos and where to improve. Lesson number one, age doesn't matter, adding value does. Did anyone care how old was the newspaper carrier? Not at all.
They appreciated all the extra attention to details, surprise and delight and trust the carrier had built by always being on time with the paper. Making sure that every single paper landed on the front porch squarely on the welcome mat. Always smiled and said hello to every person you saw. Sometimes I would even include candy inside the newspaper bag or by a simple gesture of thank you note. I realized I had a daily delivery system and what was expected was the newspaper. Everything else I did was added value and this is how I keep and get new customers. Said a newspaper carrier. Lesson number two, happy customers pay more. The more I gave to my customers, the bigger the tips I would receive and the prouder I became of my business. Not only did my happy customers pay more, but I had some of the lowest turnover in the neighborhood, they stayed with me because I was making their day just a little bit better every day. Claimed another newspaper delivery girl. Mr. Bezos would be proud of you. Lesson number three, increase your customers might reduce your profits. Naturally. Like every entrepreneur, I figured that I should keep growing my customer base. More customers, more profits, right? When I did that, things started to break down. To get the papers out faster, I stopped delivering on everyone's doorstep it simply took too much time. All those little perks I had used to establish my route became fewer and less often as I felt overwhelmed with the demand of the larger route. My tips plummeted, my turnover increased, and my once extremely happy customers were now calling to complain whenever their newspaper was late. Lesson learned, never ever make any decision at the expense of the quality of customer services. Lesson number four, you can make more money in sales than production. This was my first entry into sales. While it was completely commission-based, I realized that I can make five times more per sale with a lot less time and effort than delivering newspaper. I became the top salesperson in less than six months on the job. I was highly motivated and saw door-to-door -door sales as a way to meet people and add value to their lives. I wasn't selling a newspaper, I was providing access to information information that would help them make better decisions and improve their standards of living. I used every rejection to educate myself on what people really wanted. I played around with my pitch and honed it into a laser-focused opening that would make the person at the door laugh and loosen up. I knew that I was intruding and that most people didn't want to talk to me, so I acknowledged that up front and quickly explained the value I wanted to give them for free. Lesson number 5, more people will buy when you remove risk. How about money back guaranteed and free cancellation? I have started doing that in my newspaper sales pitch years ago. If the customers didn't like the newspaper, they could get their money back. It is all about letting the customers try your product with no pressure of commitments and getting their feedback on how to improve further. Most customers are likely to stay as long as you provide good service which is expected of anyway. Are you ready for your newspaper delivery route now? I guess we can see a lot of similarity in a newspaper delivery route business to even a big big business like Amazon. Thanks for watching, remember to subscribe and leave me a comment that you have subscribed. Let me know what kind of video you would like to see from Namus TV. See you again.